Apostle Joshua Selma gives us these lessons as nuggets to be cautious what happens to us when we stop praying. When you stop praying, you start misbehaving. When you stop praying, you start making poor choices in important matters of life. When you stop praying, you become unserious with everything. When you stop praying, you start losing your value. When you stop praying, you start losing opportunities. When you stop praying, you lose spiritual receptors and become carnal. When you stop praying, you lose the inspiration and excellence and start making errors. When you stop praying, you lose freshness and start decaying. When you stop praying, you start losing ground. When you stop praying, you start losing things. When you stop praying, you start seeing everyone as an enemy and fake, including your destiny helpers. When you stop praying, you start hiding. When you stop praying, you stop seeing the value and beauty of life and start contemplating suicide. When you stop praying, you start unnecessary competition and strife. When you stop praying, you become more susceptible to witchcraft. When you stop praying, you start reading the Bible, posts and listening to messages by men of God with a contemptuous attitude. When you stop praying, you are on your way to divorce. When you stop praying, your light becomes darkness. When you stop praying, you start comforting yourself that your TV experiences are enough and fellowship is not important. When you stop praying, everything including nature starts fighting you. Anytime prayer stops, it is quickly replaced and overtaken by a wrong habit and spirit because nature abhors vacuum. Watch it. Pray even if you don't feel like because praying is not a feeling. It is a commitment. God bless you as you start praying. Credit, Niger Samuels. God bless you.